Good morning. No, it's not morning time. <laughs> I said good just... day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Whatever. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Jillian. And I'm Angie. And we are from The Little Reddington. Jillian is off. Well, she's not off, but she's doing other things. So good for her. I recruited Angie to come. And you were going to show us all surprise. your whips. <laughs> all my whips. I don't have as many as you guys. I am. No. I do have more than I ever had before working here, but I definitely don't come close to 52. I don't have 52 anymore. Do have you caught up on the podcasts? No. Because do you know how many I have? I went to Florida. And so oh, yeah, I'm mad at you. I know. You're so mad. I don't know how many you have. Okay, if I was to take a guess. Because I'm not caught up, I feel actually I should have caught up last night because then I would have been all. I gave you like 12 hours notice. <laughs> you I think did. I gave you like almost 20. No. I probably no, gave I you like. you messaged me last night. I messaged you in the afternoon yesterday. Okay. Anyway. Um, plenty of notice. Okay, so I have to guess. 30. Is that way too low? I feel like you've taken a lot apart. Yeah, I have. How many do you have now? 14. No. Something like that. I have less than Jolyn. <gasps> yep. <laughs> I really am behind on watching. <laughs> I usually binge watch them. That's my favorite way to do it. Like, I love to, if I'm doing work at, other work at home, I'll turn my headphones on and, like, binge watch. And then I'll yeah. go back and yeah. watch old episodes. <laughs> um, 14. I frogged a lot. Because my gauge is so off, right? Yeah. And uh, some things were in there. Like, I had my sock tubes in it. It had, like, some of them do have needles in them, but some of them hadn't been started. But I wanted them finished, right? So I Got put you. them into my original whip count because the goal was to get them all done, right? At the end of the year. So I have taken those ones out. Okay. So I have 14 or 13 or 16 or 15. Impressive. There's something around there. I have the same number as I did last time. I'll have to look That's crazy. That's good. Mind. Um, so when you're done, then you can start anything. Yeah. Well, I, I still have the rule. No, I don't. I don't think I do. I think I changed it. Originally, it was like if I finished four things. Oh, I made it through March. So technically, tomorrow have I finished four things? I think I've already finished four things. Is so it, technically, tomorrow I could cast something on if I wanted, yeah. but I don't think I will because I did. I think eventually say that I kind of want to go the whole year without casting on. But I have like three categories. So I have socks, sweaters. I think it was socks, sweaters, and maybe shawls, and then one extra category, like others or something like that. So okay. I want to kind of keep, I'm only going to knit one thing at a time. The end goal is to only have one sweater on the go at a time. So Jordan right. made me be oh, a monogamous. So you can't have more than, like, I have more than one sweater, but I only work on one thing at a time. But I, the other one's just, but then I never finish them. That's the Exa problem. Exactly. So Jordan is like, well, no, if you're going to only... Because I was like, well, I kind of only just want to have one sweater at a time. She's like, well, then for the rest of your whips, you should be monogamously working on them. Ah, uh, okay. So I can work on my sweater or my shawl. Yeah. I just can't work on another sweater. So I'm trying to okay, kind of do that. Okay, that's fair. So I've been love, working on like three different projects right now, mostly my, my sweater. I do love how the two of you make rules and then you like amend your rules <laughs> like 7,000 <000 laughs> times. <laughs> until it suits your but that's okay that's, but yes yes you have we, to like we totally do that but i am like sticking you, with my stuff though like i haven't yeah like, i got rid of a bunch of whips i'm now not casting anything on yeah and i'm work trying to work on one whip at a time so that yeah i don't know what jolene's rules are well i like it because you're accomplishing your goal so yeah. whatever it takes to accomplish your goal you're allowed to you should stop calling them rules though because rules are like Meant to be broken. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> we should make new sweaters that say rules are meant to be broken for the podcast. Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Make one for Jolyn and just give it to her, make her put it on like on the show so she can't see it. Like she doesn't get but, to see what it says beforehand. But she'll have to try and read it backwards. You could just put a piece of paper in front of like her oh, but side she can, of the but she can wear it. Like okay. she can put it on and then, and then try and read it backwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> should I put it on backwards so she can read it? <gasps> That'd be really funny. Okay. We digress. <laughs> anyway. So, I have one whip to show you guys today. Because my other two, the other one that I've been working on is my, like, timeless socks I have at work. Yes. I'm supposed to be getting the second sock caught up to the first one, and I can leave them here. But I haven't touched that one much. So, yeah. I haven't worked on that one. And I finally just left it here because I've been carting it back and forth between yeah. home and work for, like, Friday nights and stuff like that. So, I was like, I'm just going to leave it here. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Mm-hmm. If you're only working on it here anyway, you're not. Well, I was working on it. Yeah, I never ended up working on it at home. It's an easy one to do, but didn't Maybe. end up doing it. And then I did restart my Via Hante, but it's like this much and there's nothing really to show. So I didn't think it. Maybe you need to add a category to what you're allowed to work on, like to cast on. So there's like a work category. So you just always keep yeah, something well, there's, here. There's an X. Well, that that's, the timeout socks will be separate. So that will be like okay. my whatever, an easy knit. So if I need a break or it's like knit night, then yep. I can just work on that if I don't bring another project. Yeah. Um, I do have an extra category. Like I, I do want to, I love doing test knits. So I want to leave a spot open for like test knits kind of thing. Yeah. Right. So. That makes sense. Um, and you usually knit multiples of things if you love it. Yes. I do. Yeah. So anyway, I have one whip to show and then Angie has, I don't know how many. Did you count them before you? No. Fun. I don't know. But I did try to find everything. Like I, nice. I don't, I really don't have that many, but I do think I have a few more, a few things new because the last time I did a podcast, I think was in the fall. So anyway, we'll see. I don't remember when, when the last one was. The season's caught up. Not me. Okay. Jillian's whip. Okay. My whip. I haven't seen this in a long time. So I finally picked it back up because I was like procrastinating because it was on the I finished the top half mm-hmm. on the front and I had to do the back and I had to like pick up stitches and stuff like that. And I was like, I don't want to, I was it's late at night. It's really it was like seven. And I was like, I don't want to do it. And I finally did it. And now I'm Look how much you have done cruising though. along. The last this time I saw like, this was at your house and it was not this even is close. Probably the slowest I've done a sweater. Cause I cast this on in Christmas. So it's been three months. So this is basically, I think it's going to be too small. I think I'm going to have to, like... Oh, will it? I think... <laughs> and I was like... Do you have a friend who's one size smaller? <laughs> like, I don't think my arm's going to fit in the... Where's the armhole? Well, the, this is... Oh, I this see. Is, this is the height of it. Like, right? This is the arm? So maybe it will. It does look bigger than yeah, yeah. it's stretching out to be, but it's got to, like, come up to here. So it might be okay. I've got a sweater on, so it's hard. Oh, like, it just goes across so like this. so pretty. I love it. So the back... I just started the back green color... <laughs> um last night so i have like a couple more. more hair this is um that's uma i haven't knit with this yet no i haven't either it's well i mean I, I i wanted to pick some i wanted to try one of the new mohair types yeah that we had. so i don't think i have the tag for it. it's in my book at home but pure gint for the main colors and then uma for that i like so how it's basically a big box it was it was i had to seam it i even seamed it Oh, I had to seam it before I could start. Here. I had to seam on one of the sides. I don't know which one before I could. Oh, well, you did a nice Because time. I had to pick the sleeve up. It, was, yep. it totally confused me because it was like telling me, it's like, oh, go to the selvage edge. I'm like, there is no selvage edge here because on the other side, you had to cast on stitches. So the selvage was the top, but like the, the top is, of the brown. The selvage was this side, was gotcha. the sleeve. I was like, what's going on? And I realized, oh, you actually have to pick up the sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve stitches, and then keep working across. Oh, okay. I see. So there's like yeah. no seam here, which was nice. That is nice. So I eventually figured it out. I shouldn't do things late at night. Nobody wants underarm bulk. So no sleeve there is nice. Yeah. Yeah. So you. anyway. Uh, I love it. I think it's really pretty. I'm hoping it will fit me. I think it, I think it will be long enough. This just doesn't look... I kind of, I might, I kind of do want it to be a little bit longer. I'll have to see yeah. when I get the other side done. It's hard. To make sure you have enough I'd like it length here. Maybe a little bit, which means I just have to undo this row and then just do a couple more things. But I think the seaming is pretty easy because I think you just take these and just do like a three needle bind off or something. Do you see the seam? I like yeah. when you do a three needle bind off and you can see it. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. And yeah. then you probably just knit the collar part and yeah. three needle bind off. The really other simple. So. Um, yeah, it was knit flat. This is stockinette. This is reverse stockinette. And then yeah, I seamed one of the sides up. I love it. So. I like how fuzzy the Uma is. It's not yeah. like, it's not hairy, like long and stringy hairy, like mm-hmm. mohair. It's really nice. It's so pretty. So. But I yeah, love it. Probably one of the long, for, for being such a simple sweater, mm-hmm. it's taking me a long time to do. Yeah. Um, cause I did, I started at Christmas Eve. No, I started Christmas night and still not done. Yeah. So and it's not long sleeve. And it's like five millimeter needles. It gets yeah. worsted. So there's really no reason why. <laughs> well, 
you had to get rid of. Although but you cleared, I did how many things you cleared out of your queue. That's so true. that's true. I, I feel like that's fair. A whole bunch of yeah of wigs. It's pretty. I like your colors, and that's from the book, right? That's from Fifty Two Weeks of Easy Knits. Yes. Um, yeah, which I got for Christmas, and then immediately picked out colors and stopped here. I love on my that. way home from my parents. Aww. Pick out yarn and cast on. It's the best. So that's it. That should be done this weekend. If I don't have to pick out stuff, even if yeah. I do, it should be done because it's not that that much. You should put it on and see where that sits because I think it's. I'll tack once I, I'll finish the other side, and I won't put the brown yeah like part on the on the back, and I'll just pin them together, and I'll see how it fits because it looks like it's not going to, but when you held it out, it. It did stretch yeah. more, right, than it was. So yeah, it might be okay. I love it. Very so, good. That is what I, is what I've been working on. I really haven't knit that much in the last two, maybe even three weeks. Yeah, I picked up so. knitting for the first time last night in two weeks, yeah. and I was like, I don't know where the last two weeks went, yeah. but no, not two weeks. That's not yes, because I was home for a week, and then this week, um, this yeah, week, so almost, it's almost two been weeks. two weeks. Yeah. So what are you going to start with? So I'll start with my most active. So this is what I'm, so I'm a little bit monogamous because once I'm working on something, I don't really want to touch something else. But if I get distracted by something else, then I completely forget about what I was working on. Oh, wait, should I show you what I forgot about I was working on or what I'm actually working Let's on? Let's do what you're working on. <laughs> so and then you can show us about the next one that you forgot about and the one that you forgot about before that, the one you forgot about before that. Mm-hmm. We'll go backwards. Okay, so sure. I am working out of a shoebox. <laughs> Okay, um, so classy, but it's because I had to put these in a Ziploc to drive to Florida because this was my car knitting. <laughs> who, takes, this, who takes a whole sweater that has like all these minis in the car? It was ridiculous, but I told this was my car knitting because I wanted to work on this. So I put these in a Ziploc. They were just sitting organized in the box, but so this is my Trinigan with the Leo and Roxy advent calendar it's so pretty so i love the inside too so this is the right like this is the front so that's mm, the sleeve will go here yeah the sleeve's gonna go here so that's all my color sequence so far it's amazing um and it's because of the floats inside i can see like i didn't really write down what i was doing so i'm just matching Oh, you're just like, like as I go, I just look on the back and I'm like, oh, it looks like I used. I started these, these two together now. Yeah. I don't know That's why. That's fine though. You're not like. This oh. section I was in the car and I did a really long section of two. Like mm. there's more of that than yeah, anything else. there's only else, two but... here and then this. Like it looks long because it's all the same. Like it's more of the same color. Like yeah. red and red and red, like pink. Yeah. But it looks like it's still only two or three rows. Yeah. So I love I'm it. I'm partway up on my back. So I only have like this much more to go of the back. And then the front. The other side. And I feel like I'm so close, but really, I have to do the sleeves, which is no big deal. The sleeves are fine. But I think the collar is going to be a monster. Like, yeah. it's the whole... It's because, like, the, how, how is this? Like, how was the ribbing? It was a lot of ribbing. Yeah. It's like three inches of ribbing. And it's the same, basically. Three and a half, I think. Pick up and go all the way around. It's the same thing. So it'll be a lot of ribbing, but that's, like, that's mo- easy. movie knitting because yeah. it's yeah. mindless, right? Right now, I'm changing colors a lot, so... It's anyway, so pretty. I'm so happy with it. I love it. I love it. I love the colors. I haven't touched my granny squares. Your granny squares. I think I'm going to have enough. Like You have quite a bit left. Look at how much is left in all yeah. my, in my zip. <laughs> so trashy with my shoebox and my Ziploc bag. I love it. Um, I have a lot left of every color. You do. So, and I still have a few that I haven't broken into that I'm hoping to use to be able to get most mm. of the sleeve done with. Yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe like a sea glass tea or something when I'm done, Ooh. right? With all the yes. extra. So that's my plan nice. right now. Oh, hang on. I'm going to put everything under the table. I'll just throw it all on the floor. I did, um, because if you watch the last podcast that I was on, um, every bag that I pulled out was so embarrassing <laughs> because it was such a big mess. So I, JoLynn asked me, okay, well, I'm, JoLynn asked me probably two months ago to bring all yes, my whips she into did. work and yeah. she's asked me multiple times and I always forget to bring them in, but I did organize them a little bit so that when I did bring them in, which is today and she's not even here, I should take them home 
and then be like, oh my gosh, I took them home, Jolyn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you want to see it, you're going to have to watch the podcast. That's right. Because I don't think she watches them. No, I did watch ours. I, it took me a long time to go back and watch it. Okay. So this is what I... I almost wore that today, but then you made me change. So I can wear this. We have brand new sweaters. Hopefully, maybe available in store sometime. That would be fun. Yeah. Why not? Would you like a little red mitten sweater? Would you? Would Let you? us know. What color? We match the wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> um, so pretty. So it's not... Oh, my gosh. This makes me sad because I feel like I'm pretty close. You are so close. Like, this is... Is this done? Or almost no, done? No, I didn't know how long I wanted it to be. Okay. So I just paused. And I was worried that it's going to be too small. Like, mm -hmm. I was worrying that it was too little. But I... Yeah. I think it's okay. So I love the colors. Yeah. It's so that's great. the back. So I'm um, gonna. You're doing full sleeves? Or? No, I don't usually wear long, all the way long sleeves. So I was yeah. thinking maybe just three like quarters. The normal, like what the pattern says or whatever. Yeah. So it was a little bit. The sleeve was too tight. I don't know. My tension changed, mm -hmm. and I adjusted the. That's why you changed the. I pattern. adjusted the pattern a little bit because I wanted it to be more symmetrical all the way across. And um, when I did that, I had to either increase or decrease my number of stitches. And for some reason, yeah. I decreased. So when I put the sleeve on, I was totally like a sausage arm. Like it was like super tight and all the floats were like screaming. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I guess maybe what I'll do is when I'm ready to start the collar for my turn again. I'll pause, come and finish this, and then do my turn again, and then I'll yeah. have. Or pick up your turn again. I don't know. So that you can at least do some mindless knitting if you ever need to, right? So if you pick it yeah. up. That's true. Then you can, whatever. This like this won't take you very long to, to finish. If you're if you're just doing, because this is, is a little bit of color work left here, and then I think it's just plain and then ribbing, yeah. right? And then however yeah. long you want this. Like it, you could probably finish it in a weekend. Yeah. So... Or you finished yours, and then I was like, oh, well, I already didn't win, so you were, I guess I'll just move on. Everybody was beating me, and then I beat everybody, and everyone stopped working on theirs. I know, because once it's not, a, like, once it's not, like, the drive to try to beat somebody, it's like, well, we'll just do it later. Still beat fine. Jolyn. I could still beat Jolyn. That's true. Anyway, I don't think she's yeah. touched hers, because, like, she's has certain whips that she's working on at a time or whatever. Yeah. Um. Actually, I should tell her like, to switch over to this one. Yeah. Anyway, she's I'm... Asking what whips to work on. I don't know what you have. I love it. I love your colors. I've never done um, like this. I've never done this much color work. I've never done a color work sweater before, actually. Like uh, this is my very yeah. first. Um, that sounds ridiculous, but I'm always such a plain knitter. Um, your, your floats and your tension is so perfect. I loved making it. And when That's I so started good. it, it went so fast, especially because because. here... Like, oh, I'm done the white section. And then you want to move into the next exactly, one. Exactly. The color was It was addictive. so much fun. And yeah, I was worried about my floats, but look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. They make me happy. It's really pretty. Yeah. yeah. And they're a little tight, I think. Like, I don't think it's going to grow much. I asked, um, I think it was Amber was at the knit night. And I asked her, I was like, do you think this will grow a little bit when I wash it? And she stretched it. She's like, no, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. So happy with that. That's the Jupiter crop. Yeah. Um, I don't know who it's called. Boyland Knits? Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. I believe so. So what did I stop knitting in order to start knitting that? Because, uh, <laughs> oh. Okay, well, no, we're going to keep going backwards. Um, Denny's sweater, my husband's sweater. I think, oh, I should have brought a picture of him because I have a first picture. We can, I'll have to find it and get it. We'll, we'll have Katrina put it in. Okay. The thing. Because the first picture is Denny just wearing the sleeves. That's right. Yeah. And then I have another picture where I had him try on, like, the sleeves attached to the body. So I could make sure. What was I going to do? Go back if it didn't fit and undo it? No. <laughs> but I made him try it on to make sure. So. Is it Okay. You know how you said no. I wish. You know how you said, oh, you'll have some mind listening if you just pick up the collar because then you'll just have a collar to knit. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have right here is just a collar to knit. Um, <laughs> there are some serious errors in this sweater. I'm not going to lie. There's some mistakes. Nobody's going to know. 
Nobody's going to know. know. How are they going to know? So I have, if I turn it the short rows for like yeah. the... So here's, okay, well, here's the whole slither. It's so close to done. It looks amazing. He's so mad at me. <laughs> Why is just it in time, Just in time for summer? Just in time. Well, no, it's It'll okay be nice because... For, for like campfires Yeah, for evenings. Like that, yeah. It's fine. He can like... He can't... It's so I don't pretty. know that I want him to barbecue in it, but... Um, no, probably not barbecue, but you could yeah, have a campfire. It'd be nice. All my short rows for the collar are done. So there's that. Oh, and this then. Is, this is what I've done for them. Okay, okay, got it. Sorry. I was um, like, I should watch to make sure that there's no needles. Like, why do. Okay, do you think I just should get a longer cord? Because look at how squished my. <laughs> I don't know, but I was going to do that for something I was working, I think for that sweater, I'm like, no, because then you have so much cord left too. Like I, I yeah, kind of want it to be. Just for showing it, it's not ideal, yeah. but then yeah. I have all my nice collar stitches picked up. I have, what's that? Maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch, maybe. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Don't look at my steaking. It's really messy. I think. And, um, oh yeah, you steaked it. I think I'm going to, I'm scary. I'm still scared that it's going to come apart and it's really messy and you could get some ribbon or something like just like a plain, like a plain. Well, that's yeah, something to go inside to clean it up if you want, right? Sew yeah. it, clean it up with some ribbon. I guess if you put yeah. the ribbon on it, we'll sew it, right? And then but, yeah, it's so pretty. How much? So, how many inches of ribbon does it have to be? Like it closes? Well, like are you making like a button band? I think it does have a button band, but or are you just gonna make it? Just leave it, it does have a button band. I don't know if he'll ever button it. I don't think he ever will. So yeah. I might just leave it. I'm assuming, like, the turn again, it's probably the same, which is, like, an inch and a half, two inches. Of How did you measure that? With my tattoo. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's an inch. By accident. But it's, like, my favorite thing. So now I really do want a tattoo. Like, the kind of, like, like some sort of, kind of, like, some sort of measurement system. I mean, it won't be accurate the older I get, but. Yeah. It's fun, though. It'll try. Anyway, so that's Denny's, um... That's the knitter's dude, and I can't remember who it's by, yeah. but it's from the Big Lebowski, the movie. And I did do mine a different color. Someone came in and they used the proper colors that I kind of wish I had of, but. Oh, I, was, I don't know what colors it's supposed to be. Like, I think that looks great like that. It's so. that like, um, this should be the, you know, that like yellowy cream color. Mm, yeah. So it's not like a, I don't know. It's like a yellowy cream. I don't, okay. I don't love that color. Yeah. And how does it fit in this bag? I can never tell. Because I feel like it's such a giant sweater and the whole thing. Yeah, just that bag's huge. It's in my. Like that uh, zigzag stitches. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. just like that. All right. Um, and when did you stop knitting to start that? Oh. Well, I stopped knitting this and then knit a whole bunch of other things. This is ridiculous. Because if you go into my old project bags, this is what you start to pull out. So this is how they start. They start with um, a cord. No stoppers. That has no stoppers and no needle tips. Do I know what needle I was using? No. No. A small needle because those are small cords. But um, Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> so just in this range. <laughs> that's really funny. Like, it's so sad because it's so pretty. I love that sweater. This you just is rip nice. it out. I think I just want to rip it out. You have to. Because I don't even know where I was. I have sleeves. Your sleeves, but your sleeves were... They're weird. They're two different colors. Yeah. But I don't... I think that would be fine. I don't think it'll be a big deal. But, um... I don't know. You could you could try and see if you can figure out where you are and how it goes. It wasn't that long ago. But it's do you ever just feel like you... Sweater. It's a really pretty sweater, but I just kind of feel like I totally lost momentum. It's been over yeah. a year. Am I really going to make it? I don't know. It's super <laughs> soft and nice. Did you just pull it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, if I was Julie, was going to just pull it right out. So, I don't know. Yeah. They're in a bag, and they're like you in could, my nice pretty bag. Pretty bag. You could rip them out, and if you want to make it again, then you just start again, right? Like, it's... Because I don't even know where I am. Yeah. So yeah, with what increases or whatever. And yeah, the patterns in there, I probably actually, so I probably I, have, I do, I, I'm I good notes. at making notes. So I do have, I mean, my patterns are always a crinkled mess. Do you keep yours straight or messy? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do I fold them up and shove them in a yeah. bag like that? And then I can't find them again. And sometimes I'll have a pattern bag and then I'll find a page from a different pattern that belongs in a different bag. Yep. That one. 
I think it's such a pretty sweater. I think I think you should frog it and then see if you end up making it again. I think it's really pretty. And it looks so pretty in that color too. It is it's really nice. I should just finish it cuz I that sweater too cuz it's a solid color. It's super simple. I think I would wear the heck out of it. Yeah. So yeah. I just have to finish it's that's what happens if I think that too many projects on the go means like nothing is getting complete. I have completed things, but that was my problem with 52 whips. I don't think I've finished anything since I made that painted rainbow shawl for the yeah. store. I don't think I've finished anything since then. Yeah. Wasn't that in like the fall? Yeah. Like I've done a lot of knitting, but I haven't completed anything, which is problematic. No socks this is... for Christmas. You did it all you did? Oh, this is an old whip. This is <laughs> Okay, so this is like old, old, old. But I have been working on it because, um, mm -hmm. why did I have to go to the hospital? You're back. Oh, yeah. And so I, st I couldn't sit. So I stood in the waiting room and knit a little bit of Denny's socks. They're really skinny, though. I put them on him. He's got like hobbit feet. Like they're super wide. Um, he said they felt fine, but I feel like they're... Can you increase when you get to, like, the gusset or start increasing now? Like... Yeah. So if you have... So he's got wide feet and a high instep. Yeah. So if you have a high instep when you're doing a heel flap sock, if you just make your heel flap longer, like, add a few mm -hmm. extra yeah. rows, then that adds extra height to the okay. instep of your sock. Yeah. So I'll probably do that for him and then maybe not decrease all the stitches so that the foot's a little bit wider. Yeah. 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 So that's the, those are pretty. what's it called? Zobber ball crazy? Mm, sure. Yep. Yeah. Cool. And there's a little tidbit of, that? that's Allegria sock. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was supposed to repair my friend's socks that she accidentally spilled paint on uh, mm -hmm. like 10 years ago. So why is it in this bag? I must've been cleaning and been like, oh, there's where that is. I'll put it somewhere safe so yeah. I can use it later. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't want to bore anybody, so we'll keep moving. This is a new cast on. A new cast on. That I started. Let me see if I can find a picture. <laughs> I'm gonna love you. Uh this one? The little lacy rumper. That's so cute. I should make that for my knees. I think I'm doing the chevrons, I think. I haven't I don't know if I've had to decide yet. I think that's what I would do because oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. Easiest. Uh, so this is <laughs> this is how far I got before I went to Florida, and then I stopped. It's so cute. But it's just with the uh, pod cotton, oh. which we don't have in we don't have in the store right at this moment. Yeah. Um, but it was, any it was on clearance at the yeah. But any um, like I think Anchor Bay would be nice for this. Yeah. Anchor Bay would be really nice, and so would. Um, Probably remix, like mm, the yeah. remix light would be really nice. You might, I would maybe want to go down a size because it's pretty, like it's a pretty open knit. Yeah. But for summer to make a cute little baby romper for my niece's baby, little yeah. sweetheart. So yeah, I'll pick this back up. This will maybe be like beach knitting, like summer. I don't know. Well, it's got to be springtime knitting. Oh yeah, so spring maybe you can knitting. wear it in the summer. Maybe it's my porch knitting. Yeah, there oh, you go. I'm sorry about the paper noise. Start back in here. Okay. Is that everything? Oh no, I started another pair of oh, this is old. This is last year. So remember when you did Operation Sock Drawer? Mm -hmm. And I don't know who is knitting a whole pair of socks every month, especially when they're like fancy socks. Like they weren't just plain they weren't socks. Eat. They were, they were yeah. new different techniques every time. Yes. Trying to get you out of your comfort zones and just doing your same old things. Yeah. But there's a couple customers that like have consistently brought their socks in and yeah. they've actually not, made them I all. think not everybody I, so there might be there's probably some people that have made all of them. There's yeah. some people that are still working on some of them, yes. right? Like but they've been yeah. doing other things too. So it's I don't know how people did it. So this is the March <laughs> March sock. And I knit this far so that Jillian could take pictures. And then I started the other one, but it just has a DPN stuck in it. I only have three DPNs with this project. I don't know where the other two are. 
And I had one on a circular and one on DPNs. It's on the exact same place that you guys saw it last time. And it's like a waste of a beautiful yarn bowl. I know. I have a couple of yarn bowls. Um, Peter, who makes them, is my neighbor. He lives across the yeah. street from us. So it's a um, nice, that's a nice shape one. I like this shape a lot. Yeah. So this sock I'm just going to take apart because I don't know where I was. And I got confused because I was doing them opposite directions. Were and you it, doing it at the same, no, you weren't doing it at the same time because there was on no, different needles or whatever. But it took me a while to get this one, like, correct to knit on this angle that you have to knit because yeah. you go back and forth. Yeah. Um, and then I was like all confused trying to do it the opposite way because I was almost like you have to finish one sock or get to the second part. Cause I think the other sock, the next, like higher up, it goes this direction. Oh, that would be smart. Right. Yeah. And then you could go back to this one and then knit that side. I think they are, yeah. I think they go opposite or you could just so, make both socks the same. Like I might just, I don't know. I might just do them the same. I really like, I really love it. Next time I'll make sure, like I'll have you, like I want the whole sock finished too so that I can take photos of them that way it will finish that way I'll actually yeah. complete it because I was all gung-ho to make this but that's the full They're moon really full moon fibers dyed this yarn yeah but it's amazing to me how much the pink shows on the green yeah and then here I don't know you can hardly see it yeah you can hardly but see. the stripes are like it's not nearly as I don't know it's just like color dominance right like yeah no matter where the pink is it wants to show so when it's in the background it's yeah. I don't know. Maybe anyway. as you get more of it, it would be yeah. different on that one. I don't know. So. One day, maybe? Maybe next March. They'll be done. I'm bad at finishing socks, obviously. Except for this sock. <gasps> when I did you start that one? I started it in Florida. Nice. Yeah. So that was my, this is what I was taking to the beach. I mean, how much knitting are you doing in Florida? I wasn't doing a whole lot. Yeah. But does it, it looks like the, it looks so weird when you have, my, I'm wearing mine today. Are you? It looks so weird. Like, like the so. foot looks so long. I know. It looks like, it looks so bizarre. Yeah. But it, it's. Yeah. The foot looks really long. Who's this for? Um, <laughs> I was making. <laughs> it's like an elephant trunk. <laughs> um, it's for my arm. Okay. It's for my elbow. <gasps> Wait, no, it's not that long. That would have been really funny like, if it came to my like elbow. <laughs> But it's, it's like not really inches. because because this is the that's the bottom of the heel. So these are a little bit big on Natalia. I was making them for my friend Rebecca. They but, fit Denny. So if I nothing else, say, they're nine they're nine inches from here to here. When you had them on your arm, that's stretching it quite a bit. <laughs> they're really long. <laughs> I don't know. But oh no, they're toe up. No, they're not. Yeah, yes, they are. They are toe up because you do the. Um, I really enjoy doing toe up. You do the. I love toe up. What's it, the Turkish? Is it Turkish? Turkish and then there's like a magic one or whatever. No, I did the Turkish one where you just wrap it around and then you knit into them. I had to. It's like you. It, it comes out of nowhere. You do like you wrap your yarn around your needles and then you just start knitting and then you knit the other way. Yeah. The other one you're like a twisting your stitches to to wrap it on and then it's like it comes out of nowhere. Yeah, and it's, it's really a, fun. A seamless yeah like thing. It's amazing. I love it. And I don't know why my I don't know why my ends are on the outside instead of the inside. And do in hindsight, due to so this yeah. is Leo and Roxy eighty twenty sock, I think from a sock club, mm. and then the marled. Uh, in hindsight, I would have done the toe in the marled mm. because the blue stripe would have shown better. Yeah, but it is what it is. The stripe is kind of silly, but. Like, it's kind of silly because you can hardly see it. Yeah. Not because of the design. The design is great, Andrea. So it's an Andrea Maori uh, bear paw. Yeah. So I don't know if I've started my... Second one? Oh, yeah, I did. And look at my stitch marker that I had in Florida. <laughs> um, did you know that flamingos fly? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to take a little sidetrack. A little nature... Uh, so Natalia, my daughter, my oldest daughter, was like, Mom, I just saw a flamingo flag. And I was like, flamingos don't fly. <laughs> I don't know why. I genuinely thought they don't fly. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever necessarily thought about that. They fly. We saw one flying. And then I couldn't deny the fact that that was like totally a pink bird flying. I've only ever seen them That's at cool. the zoo and they don't fly at the zoo. They just stand in the water. Yeah. 
That's true. Yeah, so you think if they fly, then they could get out. So then they're never like enclosed, are they? Do they fly? I think they fly. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because well, first one. I was wrong, and then I saw one flying. So and they made fun of me. Interesting. Um, I think that's that's everything. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would guess ten. That's what, that was my guess when I when we first started. I was going to say ten. Yeah, only eight. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, and you're pretty close on a couple of them, like. Three of them, your first three that you showed, your sweaters, like you've yes. got a lot of ribbing to do on two of them, and then your Jupiter? Yes. Jennifer. Jupiter? Jupiter. Okay. Yes. You guys totally missed me up on that. People call it different names, and I don't know anymore. It's Jupiter crop, yes. Jupiter, um, you're pretty close on that one, too. Yeah. You just have to decide yeah. what you're doing there. So you're pretty close on a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. And these socks, I know I know how you feel now, because you said well, recently... They, I made two pairs, like, so fast. Yeah. It was so quick, because I really didn't knit that much. Because I was I was on vacation no, yeah. and doing stuff with the kids and stuff, but um, but DK socks work up so fast. Oh my goodness, I was shocked. Yeah, like I've been working on Denny's pair. I've been working on them <laughs> for two and a half years. <laughs> and there, you got one sock done already in a DK. Boom. So no, no more. So he can have DK socks. It's good for hunting. Yes, it's fine. Well, and his feet are literally like sandpaper, so they just eat socks. Like his feet are so yeah. Manly? I don't know. Is that a manly thing? So, what else? Um, I got nothing else. Do you want to see the sweater that I want to cast on? Yes. Do we need to give you some but guidelines? I have, yeah, maybe, because now, because now what's going to happen is it's been sitting in a bag, so I've had it all the yarn and everything together, and what's going to happen is now that I'm pulling it out and planning it, I'm going to want to cast it on. But I think I shouldn't be allowed to cast it on until I finish. Denny's. Well, I was going to say mine, but. <laughs> Denny's sweater. Y'all heard it. So maybe one for me and one for Denny. Yep. Like two sweaters. And yep. then I can cast this on because then what's my third sweater that I have? You have your Trinigan and your Jupiter. Oh, and, and then you have I your have to decide what to do with my that one. So, but you might also want to do some summer sweaters. Oh, and yeah, and Angie, I need I, summer sweaters. I kind of want to do not a cow, but like a class. Yeah, on or like an in-store sort of thing on the um, the one we made a whole bunch of last year, the Sun Gazer. <gasps> oh, a workshop with the Sun Gazer would be amazing. Yes, because um, it's really. Okay, so the way that you cast on, you use Judy's magic loop to cast on. Yeah. Like, there's so many techniques that we would yeah. cover: picking up stitches, yeah. make one left and make one right. Yeah. Oh, so I think it would be, be a great. fun little workshop thing to do, like in the summer or something like that, or the spring. Um, yeah. So we'll see. I, think I, mean, so. I have three of them already, but I would make another one. Um, this one. Oh. Anyway, and these ones are, and I'm. Definitely going to have some of this left over, so I think I should also harvest. Mm. I think this color would work nice in here, too. So these are my colors. So some Malabrigo, some Leo and Roxy. Um, I have some Copper Roof left over from a sweater that I did. Actually, my big cardigan that I made ages ago. Aren't they pretty? So, so all so these pretty. fun colors, and then with just some black. Four. Four. Do we show the paper? Is that going to bug you, Katrina? Do, do, do. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but I think um, I was going to change my mind. But I think that I think I think maybe I'm just going to do it and make it like a sweat, like a dress. Like make it more like a tunic yeah. style, right? So it's a little bit longer. Yeah. And uh, then I think it'll be fine. Because I was going to change the pattern because I was worried that I'm only you five. Could. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a whole whopping five feet tall. And I just felt like, oh, maybe it's going to, like, totally overwhelm me and just be, like, mm -hmm. ginormous. But anyway, it's, like... It's very fun and flowy. Yeah. And it's, it's like, a brioche stitch. And anyway, so I'm excited to start that. But that's a big project. And I, you're right. I need to... You could start it in the summer so that it's ready for the fall, right? Like, finish your ones you have now. Yes. Do a summer one or two or whatever. Yeah. And then start it 
sometime in July so yeah. that it's ready for the fall or something like that, right? Like, yeah. yeah, I think that'll be good. So this is what I re- want to make. To I have the yarn for. Yeah. We'll do another podcast and we'll get you all inspired about it again and then you can guest on. But I'm not allowed to open this bag again. Oh, and I have this too. Is that the same? No. It's no, it's a bit more blue. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think it's the wrong weight. Why do I have it in this bag? Is it worsted? Yeah, it's worsted. It might be it might be okay if you're just doing a section of it, right? Yeah. Like Stephen West if I stuff need are it. like varied and one section of worsted, if you keep it on the same needles, it's not gonna be Yeah. It probably is fine. That's it. That's not too crazy. That's not bad. Not Eight. bad at all. Eight and one oh well, I actually do have one other sweater quantity at home. I forgot about that one. But it's not it's not a whip yet. Okay. It's just it? it's all in a bag with a printed pattern and the yarn. <laughs> what what sweater is that from? Um I can't remember the name. It's like a cropped sweater, just a single color. It's just textured. I don't know if I'm gonna use that pattern. Okay. I might change the pattern, but I use I bought some pure I a sweater quantity of pure gint. Oh yeah. In the like poopy brown color. <laughs> Such a pretty color. <laughs> yeah, you like that color. It's a, it's a nice color. But yeah. So Sungazer Workshop. I think so. Yep. For those of you who might be interested in some sweater techniques, knitting techniques. Picking up a lot of picking up stitches. It was really fun though. Mm-hmm. It was an, and it's a fairly easy knit. Um yeah. I think that could be fun to do. Go oh, a couple weeks, sort of. Yeah. What would you use? Because you've done one with Noro. I did have half Noro, half Noro Silk Garden. Yep. And the other two Silk Garden. So I don't know if I would just do another Silk Garden one, if there's another color that I like, like solid one maybe or something. Or I'd have to look in the DK room and see yeah. what other yarn we have. I wonder how um, it would look all solid. Like it's kind of a, we'll, I'm sure we'll put up a picture of it so you can yeah. see it, but... um. It might look really pretty in just like a solid color, like yeah. maybe in a tonal or something. Yeah. I was, yeah. I'm wondering about remix. I would almost hold remix double because I think remix is pretty light. Yeah, it is. So I might hold it double or something like that and see. Yeah. But I don't have to look and see what we have in there. <gasps> what if you did um, like a remix light, but like marled it? Yeah. And then so you could hold one color all the way through, but then marl your yeah. other colors with it so that it was like every has eight sections, right? Yep. Eight sections and then the trim on the top and bottom. Might be fun tomorrow to play with, like play with the colors that way. Yeah. Anyway. So we'll discuss that and figure that out for spring-ish, late spring. Probably. I'll have to see. Yeah. What else? I don't think there's anything else. I'm I'm behind, so I don't even know... um, what you guys have shared, like what's new in store. We haven't, we, have, we don't have much new in store. We haven't really been sharing that, but there's not much new in store. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of new summer yarn so we can show next time. Well, there's a couple, there's a DK summer yarn that's new. Yeah. That linen, is it linen? I don't know what it is. We didn't bring it, so. We didn't Maybe next, it. next time like, we can, we can show something. <laughs> like, do you want me to run and grab it? <laughs> um, okay, we'll have to, you'll have to do that. We'll have to do another one where we show some of the new stuff in the store. Yeah. And there's some, like, when I came back, it was fun to come back and find, like, the new books that are in the store oh, yeah. um, that I hadn't seen. Like, two weeks doesn't seem like a long time, but a lot happens in two weeks around <laughs> you'll have, here. You'll have to grab some stuff. Because, like, to me, I'm like, I don't know what's new. It just comes in and it just seems, I think, because well, I see the, it ahead of time and I see it, like, it doesn't seem new. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, the Neons and Neutral book was in new. Yes, that's really pretty cool. Um, there was some books when I taught my um, learn to knit class the other night. Um, yeah, there's some new, like some like skill some set. new skill set books. Yeah, the Knitter Dictionary is a nice one for learning to knit and stuff like that. Yeah, but um, just I think all the new new stuff should be on the website um, tagged. So if you go new arrivals, there's okay. a bunch of new arrivals and stuff like that in there. It should be mostly up to date. So I like it. Let's just start there. But. <laughs> I did not think about stuff in store this time. So. That's fine. Next time. Well, you know, with the bring Angie on the podcast, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> like so? 
<laughs> what's new? What's happening? I noticed that I didn't have my news reporter microphone. I requested it at the last podcast. Well, you reminded me yesterday. <laughs> Darn. It's fine. It's fine. I'll make my okay. own. Good. Do it. And anything else coming up in store? No. No. I don't think so. We're here. Come and visit. Bring your projects. We want to see them. Yes. Yes. Bring your finished in progress works with you. I love. love. Yeah. That's part of the problem too with my, like, all my whips that I had before. It's like, oh, we see somebody has that they either are picking at yarn for. They come in like, oh, I like that pattern. Do you send that to me? Yes. Or, oh, I really like what they're doing. I want to make one too. Um, uh, so a customer came great. in this week with to pick out yarn for a summer t-shirt sweater. Ooh. And it was like totally the fit that I like, right? Just a boxy yeah. um, drop sleeve. Nice. And it had just a little bit of detail on the bottom. And I think maybe a garter stitch across the top just to kind of, or a reverse stockinette or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, probably a reverse stockinette actually. And I think it was called like Azalea or I don't know. Started with an A. But I totally like saved it in my Ravelry because I was like, oh, I really want to make this now. Yeah. I gave away my Estee sweater. Mm, that's right. Um, it was just too big. And sometimes you just have to admit when something looks better on somebody else. Yep. I've done that a couple times. So my friend tried it on and I was like, oh, that's kind of meant for your shoulders and your... It looks so much nicer. It looks so you. much nicer. So I'll either make another Estee for myself or... The t-shirt that I found that lady. Okay. After you finish those other two. And why well, you have to remind me of all your rules. <laughs> your guidelines for you. My guidelines. Yes, I don't, will finish. Don't be a Jillian. Don't cast on oh. all the things. D B A G. <laughs> we should make a bracelet. <laughs> so the beads, like the like the bead bracelets. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. That's funny. That's great. Anyway, okay. I think that's it. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, have a good week, everybody. And uh, maybe we'll have another podcast for you next week. Thanks we'll for see. having me. 